resolution. There is no objection. The resolution is before the Senate. Mr. President. Is our leader. It is with pain, sorrow, anger, and resolve that I stand before this Senate, a symbol for 212 years of the strength of our democracy, and say that America will emerge from this tragedy as we have emerged from all adversity, united and strong. The America in which we woke today is far different from the one in which we woke yesterday. This morning, as our rescue workers and medical personnel continue their heroic work, we begin to truly understand the enormity of what happened. My heart aches for the people of New York, our men and women serving at the Pentagon, the passengers and crew of the four hijacked aircraft, and for their families and friends. These attacks were an assault on our people and on our freedom. They aimed at the heart of the American community and the symbols and structures of our economic and military strength. As an American, as an elected representative, I am outraged as a husband and a father I am pained beyond words. Last night, we sent a message to the world that even in the face of such cowardly and heinous acts, the doors of democracy will not close. This joint resolution we lay down today condemns yesterday's attacks, expresses our sympathy for the victims and our support for the president as our commander in chief. The world should know that the members of both parties in both houses stand united in this. The full resources of our government will be brought to bear in aiding the search and rescue and in hunting down those responsible and those who may have aided or harbored them. Nothing. Nothing can replace the losses of those that have suffered. I know that there is only the smallest measure of inspiration that can be taken from this devastation. But there is a passage in the Bible from Isaiah that I think speaks to all of us at times like this. The bricks have fallen down but we will rebuild with dressed stone. The fig trees have been felled, but we will replace them with cedars. That is what we will do. We will rebuild and we will recover. The people of America will stand strong together because the people of America have always stood together. And those of us privileged to serve this great nation will stand with you. God bless the people of America. I yield the floor.